Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, what are some timeless tips that will be will make it possible to learn software development in days instead of years? So let's get into it. Well, I will give you the universal truth. I will give you the only way, like the secret technique that I know how to be able to learn, basically be able to learn software development in a time period that is measured in days instead of years. And this is, uh, this is just, this is the only way I know how to do this. Are you ready? Redefine what you mean about knowing software development. Because if you mean that you know software development by being able to write Hello World, then you can learn software development in a day. If you define it as you can do some basic, basic coding and maybe produce a small little, say, hangman game or something like that, or maybe a very short adventure game with the text with text in on a CLI or something like that then maybe you can know software development in a week maybe a few days there if or we could just read go really far and say that you can convert the rough roughly roughly it will take you 10,000 the, the, what is it they say usually it's 10,000 hours if you convert that into days then hey there you have your days as well if you convert the amount of years into days, then you're going to have that definition as well. I mean, this question here is kind of, it's in the same ballpark as a lot of people. I, there's a lot of people out today who are on, well, basically they're in the gold rush era, because that's what we are, guys. We are in the gold rush era of programming. It used to be the case that programming was this... Uh, like elite, like you know, it was a job. Pro software development was a job for elite, the elite, like the highly, highly intellectual, highly, highly educated. And today it is much more of a blue collar job. And as most blue collar jobs, what happens is that you have this category of people who are more focused on the quick, uh, quick return on investment and quick results as opposed to actually learning the profession. And as I've said many, many times before, guys, this field of study is it's not the sort of thing that you should get yourself into if you're looking for quick wins because it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to do something like that, like to really get anywhere with that mindset the fact of the matter is that learning how to as i said you, the only way for you to learn software development in you know a few months or a few like a few days or whatever unit of measure you want as opposed to what most people do which is you know they study for years is by defining like you asking yourself okay what do you mean by being able to write software as i said if you want to do it at a amateur level it's absolutely feasible if you want to be a hobby programmer, you can invest a few, maybe a month, a few, say three months, and there you are. But that doesn't mean that people are going to come out and ask you to start working for them because the demands of a professional software developer is a lot higher than that. It's a similar thing to, you know, being somebody who trains for the Olympics or trains for like professional, a professional athlete as opposed to being somebody who works out twice a week just to feel active you know and I, I i i know that there's like i don't know if uh, like i don't really know why this question keeps on coming back i suppose it has to do with people being to like just having a really weird warped understanding of what well well, instant gratification, it seems. It seems that we live in this world where every single person believes, uh, wants to believe, or not every person, but like some people just have this idea that using some magical way of doing something is going to make you, make you be able, uh, be, make you cut all the work that is entailed in order to achieve something. I mean, there are these workout videos that claim that, hey, you're going to get a six pack in eight weeks. And I can promise you, they're not. You're not going to get that. 
The only reason that a video exists and that it's not being labeled as absolute direct fraud is that there is a possibility that a, that a person who, you, who was extremely fit or who already is extremely fit just picks up that video, uses it, loses four kilos of water weight and all of a sudden they have a six pack. But the average Joe who has more than a little bit overweight is going to have to work years in order to achieve the same result. If you haven't been, or if you haven't grown up as, as somebody who's done sports fairly actively throughout your life, you haven't built up the sort of body, like body, body composure that is required in order to make something like that happen in such a short amount of time. It's going to take you a while to do that. Programming is the same way. Are there people who will become software developers in three months? Yes. But these people are not the sort of people who didn't do anything growing up. Like they didn't, like they they have a background that very clearly sets them up for success with this thing, within this region. I mean, I have people who sent me who send me requests for reviewing their GitHub accounts. One person has something like an amazing project, like a repository of amazing projects and so forth. And the person has been basically programming since he was in elementary school. I mean, a high school kid writing software at the, le at the level that I would freedom. I mean, if I didn't know any better and I actually told him this, I would have, I would have pegged him for a senior developer. But he's been do. I mean, as I said, like he has been doing it since he was like yay, you know, yay high. And then the next person comes in who is a little bit older, is like middle aged type of person, and presents some stuff. And that's like basic, the most basic thing that you can imagine. This, as I said, this hangman sort of game, like these very simple things. And I mean, that is what you can expect. I mean, that's where everybody starts out. It just depends on you know, how much time have you invested? So what I want you to take away from this is that if you're looking for a way to, like a magical way to get good at programming where you can reduce the amount of time, like which most people count in years down to just days in terms of learning and to get like you get a good feel for it. The only way you can do that is to, f to basically reduce your expectations. If you expect yourself to be a professional grade software developer and measure the time you need to invest in just in days, you can forget about it. It's not going to happen. I can promise you that. If you, on the other hand, say that, hey, I'm okay with, you, with doing hobby level stuff or being empowered enough to make my own websites or things of this nature, I don't have to do this as a full-time job, then it's absolutely possible. Then, then, then absolutely. Then take a boot camp and you will get, get to a point where you can absolutely do this. But you should know that there's a big difference between being a professional and being somebody who knows some basic code. And that's that, that, mis un, un, that ambiguity or lack of understanding is one of the main reasons why you have so many of these people on the internet trying to sell you the idea that, hey, you can be all these amazing things without any work. Trust me, guys, anything worth having is going to take time. Have a great day.